We are not going to put young, healthy workers ahead of our elderly, vulnerable population. Right now at 5, Governor Ron DeSantis lays out the next steps in the race to vaccinate Floridians. The push to get more people vaccinated comes as the state continues to see a spike in daily COVID-19 cases. The state's health department reports more than 10,000 new cases and an additional 76 deaths. In Florida, nursing home deaths doubled over the Thanksgiving holiday. Today, while at a retirement community in central Florida, the governor emphasized the need to vaccinate elderly Floridians first as a process he says could take several weeks. CBS 4's Joan Murray joins us with reaction to the governor's plan. As the holiday season kicks into high gear, this is really a gift from the governor to all older Floridians. He's saying anyone who wants the vaccine should be able to get it. Frontline health care workers and residents at long-term care facilities have been at the top in Florida getting the coveted COVID vaccine as we get ready to receive over 361,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine and 12,000 new doses of the Pfizer shot. The governor made it clear who will go next. Some say some of the younger workers even. Just want to be clear in Florida, uh, we've got to put our parents and grandparents first. Some South Florida seniors say that is the correct call. Science shows that seniors are more vulnerable than younger people. So if we go with the science, then we got to do it by age. We go down to 70s, 60s, 50s, that way. The older ones just get so sick, you know, with it. Where a younger person, they can get it, they throw it off. I'm 78, and I'm going to, when it, it's my turn, I'm going to be the first one online to get it because uh, I don't want to get sick. But it means essential workers like cashiers and food service employees have to wait to get the vaccine. James Mead is a retired Floridian and says maybe essential workers should be the next priority. I'm on the borderline. I'm 64 years old. We kind of quarantine more. We don't go out as much because of the uh, COVID. So I think it's only natural that the people that are having contact with the people go next in line. CVS and Walgreens are taking the vaccine to long-term care facilities in South Florida. The chief medical officer told us everyone who is a priority should be vaccinated by the end of March and that the general public will start receiving vaccinations in April. It's not available to the general population, but once it is, uh, we'll have them schedule in advance, uh, but then they will come into our pharmacies, just like you do for a flu, a flu vaccine to be vaccinated. The when, where, and how older Floridians are going to be able to get this vaccine still to be worked out. The governor did say there might be partnerships with county health departments, but to stay tuned. In Lauderdale by the Sea, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.